Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today, somebody on Facebook asked how you would kern using kerning uh, just a couple of letters in your text and not all of them. Well, these are text. They're not converted to curve or anything. They're just, this is Arial. And I'm going to grab the shape tool and I can select and hold down. Well, you can do one thing. You can hold down the shift key and select those two nodes or capture squares and then you can just move it over with the nudge tool how much you want to do now you can also just grab those two squares by selecting them so there's one way to do that the other way would be to go to text open up your text property docker take your text tool and highlight the letter you want to kern and right here is your kerning and it's going to space out the space between that letter and the next letter in your text. So either way it'll work. Uh, there's a lot of reasons to use the shape tool. I think more practical. You, know, you can do a lot with it. Uh, you know, once you've got that selected, you can, you can move this letter. You know, you can make it a different size. You know, there's a lot you can do with it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.